Well, nobody needs me to introduce Archdeacon Monez, but in this year of discipleship, we've decided to have conversations about what actually is a disciple and how do we become one more deeply. So Monez, I'm going to ask you the question, what are the marks of a disciple? Every time, any time, I meet any individual within the church or outside the church who says to me that they uh, are Christians. The first question I want to ask, because I'm nosy, is uh, how are you connected to Jesus? Where, where is Jesus in your life? And I want to see the passion for basing the whole of life upon Jesus, his, not just his teaching, but in the relationship, because the relationship make all of the teaching of Jesus uh, come alive. So for me, uh, the first and foremost uh, characteristic I'm looking for is that uh, intimate connection with Jesus Christ. That's what makes me tick, and if I see it in another, I says, oh, you and I can really partner well without any sense of difference between us. Uh, and so uh, when I look at the Christian faith, what is the, the main difference of the Christian faith than the main Abrahamic faiths? It is the personhood of Jesus and the relationship with Jesus. So that is what I'm looking for. Thank you. So Moniz has told us how he recognises a disciple of Jesus. And the question for us who are disciples of Jesus is how do we grow more and more into being disciples of Jesus? I think over the years we, we allowed uh, ourselves to think, if I'm just somewhere where Jesus is spoken about or Jesus is mentioned, that automatically will help me to grow as a disciple. If I'm there, I find myself already in a Christian community, it means that God is drawing me to himself already. But beyond the him drawing me, I need to allow him to invest in me to grow the relationship with Jesus. So. Uh, uh, the growing the relationship with Jesus for me has always been through a deliberate uh, attitude towards drawing nearer to him and for me that will be uh, set worship where I actually connect with him not only in the public worship but in the personal private worship him and I spending time together talking uh, naturally the way I talk to my other friends because I believe that he's alive today and because he's alive and he calls himself friend of sinners and he rescued me from my past uh, it means that he still likes me so and he wants to communicate with me and I want to communicate with him so and I, I put I put that within the worship context I need to know about him so a habit that I have developed although I should always read the lectionary and I do I follow the book of common uh, prayer that the church of uh, England have produced an app for I follow it daily I always always when it comes to the readings I need to read the gospel so I keep reading the gospel when I finish one I go to the next when I finish the four I go back to the first I vary the order but I just want to soak myself in him because uh, he helps me to grow just by knowing his character the, the third thing uh, I, I do uh, to grow as a disciple and look for in growing disciples is actually allowing people to connect and speak about their testimony. How did they encounter God? Where are they encountering God in their daily lives? He's not distant from us, that we only encounter him on a Sunday. He's with us every moment. So where am I encountering him in my daily life? And the fourth thing is, uh, once I uh, drew close to him, once I actually uh, allowed him to speak to me and I to speak to him and uh, knowing that he's with me constantly communicating with him how am I serving him because it's often it says it is in the doing that we really learn most so I look for opportunities to serve and a disciple always need to be in a place where he's serving not only the church and I think that's the mistake that we make uh, but actually serving the world around us. We are called uh, to serve him in the world, to make him known in the world, but we cannot do either unless we first know him for ourselves. And so that's the basis for my expression of growing into a discipleship life is connecting to him through worship, uh, speaking to him, reading the scripture to know his character, and knowing that he's with me every day and then serving him as an expression of that knowledge. Thank you. So those of us who are seeking to be and to live as disciples of Jesus, how does that play out in our lives in the world? I, 
again, I, I refer back to the way that I was taught and grown in my faith very early on after coming to faith. Uh, within uh, three weeks, uh, I recognized that just head knowledge, just experience uh, of, of saving life of Jesus Christ, which happened dramatically for me, uh, is not going to carry me through. Uh, throughout the whole of my life. I needed to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit and I uh, invited the Spirit of God to take control of my life and so that was a, a seminal moment of my life and beyond that once once I lived that experience and I have surrendered to the to God uh, the Holy Spirit uh, knowing that through Jesus I do that and the Father wants me to do that I actually began to find opportunities to serve him in the world uh, I will approach him and I will say Holy Spirit you're in me for me you're on me for others which is a quote from uh, for one of the teachers of the church today and I, and I will say Holy Spirit where are you working today how I can I partner with you how I can I actually reach out to those who are unloved to those who are marginalized to those who uh, are strong and powerful but they need to be softened or need to be engaged with on a different level than just with those who are marginalized and ignored because I think sometimes we can and the church have done for a long time we can actually uh, see our ministry for the marginalized only where Jesus actually connected with everybody and is changing the culture requires us to connect with both ends so we we see God to show us Lord where are you working and how can I do that and that means is that I need to continue to grow in my knowledge of him intellectually find opportunities to serve him individually and in partnership with others and always be absolutely focused on the notion that it's about making him known it's not about my own uh, reputation it's not my uh, about me becoming famous or infamous most likely it will be more infamous than famous uh, but it's actually about making jesus known in this world because he's the one who's able to change us from within and change our surrounding and bless people around us. Thanks, Moniz. Very few people would feel able to talk about what is a disciple from their own perspective. But most of us know when we've seen one, a disciple whose life we respect and whose contribution to the church or to the world is something we value. So I'm going to ask you, if there's somebody in your life who you know is a disciple of Jesus, not so much necessarily by what they say, but by who they are. And you'd be willing to explain why they had an effect on you or why you're impressed by them as a disciple of Jesus. Please contact me because I think other people would like to hear about them.